A bushwhacker is someone who likes to walk in the woods off trail. Back during the Civil War, it was more of a land-based pirate. I prefer to think of myself as somewhere between the two. Let me tell you a little bit about what it is that I do. Someone once told me that there might be a cemetery back in the woods behind the Nature Center in Lincoln Park. So I decided to find out if that was true. I figured if there was a cemetery back there, it would be up on the hill, because that's where they used to put them back in the day. So I added some place marks um, in Google Earth, and then I um, transferred the information over to my topographical software on my computer. I added some additional data, and then you f I formulated a plan on how to get back in there. Once I got done with all that, I transferred that information over to my GPS. This is an example of some screenshots uh, I could see on my, uh, my device. You see the contour map on the left and the um, aerial imagery on the right. I thought that would be helpful. So one day, I put on my GPS, went over to the park. That's me the day I actually went looking for that cemetery. And I started crawling around on my hands and knees in the bushes. And what do you know? I found some tombstones back in there. Um, here's some pictures of the tombstones that I found. Um, I have absolutely no idea what those people are doing back in there, but you can find them if you want. Now, over in Brooklyn, in Baltimore, um, at the port, there was this old abandoned ferry, and I wanted to get closer to it. So I decided one day, hey, how would I get back in there? It's behind private property. so. But that didn't stop me. I found a hole in the fence, and I thought, well, I'm going to use that. So I figured I could probably hug the um, shoreline and get back in there. So I ended up walking behind this massive parking lot for Mercedes-Benz and um, avoiding the security guard. And I did get back in there. I did find that ferry, and I took some pictures. And I'm glad I did, because three weeks after I took the pictures, uh, the Port of Baltimore broke that ferry, and it no longer exists. Now, out near Harper's Ferry, there's a ridge. It's called Short Hill Mountain. It's the only ridge out there that's untrailed. But I was looking at it in Google Earth, and I saw these rocks out on the top of it. And I thought, wouldn't it be neat to get up there? So, same methodology. Me and uh, five of my good friends decided to bushwhack in there and go up that ridge and find the rocks. And um, we did that one fine September day. Uh, we found the rocks. There we are. Um, it was a great day, beautiful day. And boy, we're glad we did it because we were able to see the ridges out in Maryland, Virginia. We could see Harper's Ferry off in the distance. And um, we also could see the Potomac River. It was really a, just a fantastic day. Now, out near Hagerstown, there's a place called Indian Springs. In Indian Springs, there's a, a facility. It's a government facility. It's very secure. It's, uh, it's heavily guarded. <laughs> There's a theme, right? Um, but that didn't stop me. It was called the, uh, the AT&T Project Office. Um, so I went back in there anyway, uh, me and a friend of mine. We're in the ravine behind the project office. And we looked up on the hill and saw this really neat tower. And so, of course, I wanted to change course and looked at the tower. So I looked at my GPS and saw the stream bed. And I thought, we could use that and get up uh, onto, that, onto that top of that ridge. And so we got up there. There's my friend standing in front of it. And I took that picture. And that is an old microwave tower left over from the Cold War. Very neat. Now, um, on another day, I was driving, minding my own business, driving down the Baltimore-Washington Parkway. And this bird came out of nowhere and attacked my minivan. So I looked up. And I saw a bald eagle. And I watched it fly over to a pond over to its nest. And I said, I want to get closer to that. I want to get some pictures. So I looked at Google Earth. And uh, it took me three tries. But I finally did get, get back in there. I did, uh, I did get some pictures. I'm not going to tell you how I did it, because that is a very mean bird. And we probably want to leave it alone. <laughs> now, if you want to take up bushwhacking, let me give you some advice. First, do as much homework as you can before you leave home. Second, use Google Earth or any pictures you can get your hands on um, before you leave home. Take a good look at them. And um, third, be invisible. Wear camouflage. Don't get noticed. Trust me, it'll make your life a lot easier. 
Now, if you don't want to take up bushwhacking, let me kind of leave you with this one piece of advice. Forge your own path in life because absolutely nobody else is going to do it for you. Thank you very much.